through countless meetings, clinical trial readouts, and red-eye flights, the believers are those who put their faith in the potential of RNAi therapeutics through times of optimism and times of uncertainty. You know, the idea that you're going to actually invent a whole new class of medicines from scratch, based on some fundamental technological ideas that come out of a Nobel Prize, that's pretty, you know, ballsy and courageous and uh, visionary. That's why a lot of people can't do it. This is one of those technologies that comes along once a lifetime, but then they kind of hit the speed bump, and that speed bump was delivery. And that took some time, and it took a huge amount of investment, and it took a lot of perseverance on the part of the management team. When we're in drug discovery, we forget that we're running experiments. And experiments give us answers that we then need to pivot and iterate on and move in new directions. What Elm Island did was they realized that they didn't have all the answers right from the beginning that they needed to figure this out. And so they were able to do something that, that very few large companies are able to do. To gradually chip away until you had something that was not only that looked like a drug, um, but now actually for some of the programs looks like something that few drugs have ever achieved. That was an amazing journey just to watch that happen. Here was this incredible promise and a breadth of scientific and, and therapeutic promise. As an outsider looking at it, it also afforded you the opportunity to believe because you could simply know, okay, is my science still working the way I think it ought to? It is. And are these folks still doing exactly what they should do as fast and well as they can? They are. Not a lot of biotechs, not a lot of people in the world get to be in the position that the Allen Island team is right now. If you keep putting patients first, then I think everything else is gonna fall in line. I really, truly believe that.